In this video, we're going to come up with the parametric equations to describe uh, to describe a hypocycloid. So whenever you have a, a big circle of radius, let's say, of radius A, and a smaller circle of radius, let's say, B, when the, uh, when the, when the smaller circle rolls inside the big circle, uh, this particle here will, uh, will trace out this path. It will trace out a path looking like this looking something like this. Uh, well, this path is called a hypocycloid. Um, in, a case, in the special case where the circumference of the smaller circle is precisely a quarter of the circumference of the big circle, then, uh, then by the time it gets to, by the time it gets to uh, pi over two, by the time it gets to pi over two, th this particle will be right here. So we'll trace out this path. So, uh, so we we'll trace out this path. So we we'll trace out this path. So in a special case where where this uh, where this circumference is precisely a quarter of the big circumference, the um, the hypercycloid is known as an asteroid. So uh, so it's known as this if the uh, the circumference is precisely a quarter of the big circle. So let me just illustrate it. So. Um, keeping track of our particle here, it's rolling around. So at the moment, the radius of A, sorry, the, the circumference of the big circle is precisely uh, four times the circumference of the small green circle. That's why it's giving us this path. Um, but but then our, our aim is to uh, to be able to vary the uh, the radius of the big circle, and we can. Uh, we can change the uh, the radius of the small circle. You can make the big so you can make the small circle much much bigger, and it will give you something like this. So you can actually keep. So our job is to keep track of this particle as the uh, as the green circle moves around, w w moves inside the big circle. So that's our job. So let's um, let's uh, create a new a new graph, new blank graph. So the first task is to um, draw a circle. So that would be um, a cos um, t comma a sine t. Close it off. Um, add our slider. Uh, we want it to uh, vary from zero to two pi. Two pi. So that's a that's a circle. Let's let's make it slightly bigger, and then add a second circle. Um, add a second circle. So that will be uh, b cos t comma b sine t. Close it off. Add a slider, and uh, and we want it to range from zero to 2 pi, 2 pi. And then uh, we, we can change the circle accordingly. Uh, let's change, let's, let's just restrict the radius to 0 to let's say 10, and then the same as up here, restrict the radius to 0 from 0 to 10. So now we can change the, uh, the radius of the small circle, we can change the radius of the big circle. So now we need to move the uh, the green circle to the edge. So um, so looking at this, hang on. So we currently we've got this. This is of radius A, and currently this is of radius B. So we need to move the center of the circle, move it all the way to uh, to the edge like this. So we need to do this. Um, currently it's A cos uh, A cos T comma a sine t. So now we need to move it all the way to the edge. So that would be a cos t and then plus the radius of the big circle, which is a. And then that would be a, uh, a sine t. And then, uh, but at the moment, uh, the center of the small circle is right on the edge. So now we need to move it to the left uh, by the radius of the, of the small circle, b. So the next line would be this, a cos t uh, plus a, and then move it to the left by the radius of the small circle, so minus b, comma, and then leave this the same. 
So that's our next task. So now let's just punch this into decimals. So decimals. Uh, so looking at the green circle, we need to move it to the right, move it all the way to the right by the radius of A, and then we need to move it back by the radius of B. There. So now as, as you vary the radius of this small circle, it will change accordingly. And, uh, and you can change the radius of the big circle. So now, mm -hmm. now our next task is to, um, to get it so that um, the green circle can move around in, uh, or, well, we, can, we, we, we need to be able to move it around like this. Notice, notice that the center of the green circle is, follows this circle here. So, uh, so we need to do this in the next video, okay?